What is going on, Safe Moon Army? It is Safe Moon Surge here yet again with another video for you all today. To all my reoccurring viewers, thank you so much for all the love and support that you have all shown me. To all the new viewers, welcome to Safe Moon, the fastest growing crypto community on earth. And yes, if you have not yet migrate over to V2, you have everything you need. You got the contract down here. You have the wallet where you can download it off of their website, or you can do it simply on their website by going through their swap feature on here and connecting your wallet, whether it be Trust Wallet, whatever wallet you hold your safe moon on to migrate it over to V2. So go ahead and do that if you have not yet. Uh, there is an educational uh, website as well down here for anything that you need or any information that you or may have questions on, you have answers down here in the educational platform. So anyways, with that, make sure to come here and subscribe, like, comment, and share because I would greatly appreciate that. You guys are awesome. And I'm so thankful for every single Safe Moon Army member who has subscribed and liked and shared and spread the love. Now let's take a quick look here at the addresses. We have over 500,000 addresses. I was honestly surprised that we hit this at the very beginning of this week. It's a great way to start off the week. Plus this Safe Moon Sunday AMA that we had yesterday. So much news. So many people that were excited about it. Everyone's general consensus was that it was the best Safe Moon Sunday AMA. And I totally agree. The production was on point. Everything was on point as far as information goes. I think they let on a lot more than that they were probably hoping for. Uh, I think one of the things that definitely surprised a lot of people were the NFT that are connected to the wind turbines and then also the fact that we have Safe Moon Connect and what that's all about. So that's all very exciting, but ultimately everyone's very excited about the NFTs and that is what I'm gonna talk about in this video and mainly focus on that topic. But anyways, if you guys have not yet, make sure to come and take a look here at the price of SafeMoon. Uh, it is currently at 2024. A lot of people are taking this opportunity to obviously load up their bags. You know, at, if we look at the actual grand scheme of things, uh, we're still fairly high compared to where we were uh, at the beginning of the month, which was way down here. So you can tell we have quite a bit of room to continue to grow but we have grown a lot and we are starting to consolidate which is a very healthy thing you want to see you don't want to just continue to see this upward trend yeah is it nice of course it is but at some point we have to consolidate and then go back up we will be getting an official announcement today from or not today this week from bitmart uh in regards to the buyback but i'm not going to talk about bitmart what i'm going to talk about is this right here i'm going to go ahead and play it hopefully it catches on my mic Imagine being able to mint things in real life and then having an nft counterpart also minted at the same time well we're looking to do more with our turbines meaning when you purchase an nft a specific NFT line, MDE NFTs, the Metaverse Development Experience NFT, uh, a real life turbine is minted, which means more wind is harnessed and more safe wind is burned. And what we're also looking at doing is you'll be able to receive crypto based off of the performance of the real world counterpart. So meaning if the turbine is set up and there's a lot of wind going into it, the holder of the NFT or the holders of this NFT will be able to receive safe moon as well. So burn and receive safe moon. But we'll be talking about those in the near future um, in its own special moment. That's gonna be a big one. It's exciting. Yeah, uh, diving into kind of like. All right, so yeah, you heard exactly what he said. Essentially the M MDE, uh, the Metaverse Development Exper Experience it, NFTs is gonna be tied to a wind turbine, which We'll get into and break down exactly what John Caroni was talking about. But we'll scroll back up here. Um, and so let's kind of break it down. So essentially, will this be a phys will you be buying a physical turbine? No, you will just be buying an NFT that is anchored to reality through a turbine, which you can see that is what John Caroni specified here and clarified more with the turbine so you would essentially be purchasing an nft that is tied that will essentially mint or create a new turbine in real life which this will help and it's very smart on safe moon because with each 
NFT that's minted, whether it be multiple people buying into that NFT, uh, that's actually going to be how they expand and really be able to put turbines up. And who knows what the cost is for SafeMoon to do that, but the fact that they are able to have a source of income come in to be able to create these things is just amazing. So turbines are just the start. So I know a lot of people are like, I want to get one of these NFTs. I'm going to do everything I can. And I'm going to as well. But the thing is, I'm sure they're going to utilize a lot more NFTs in regards to what this this business model is, where you're going to be able to mint an NFT that's tied to reality. So turbines are just the start. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of other things that they're going to incorporate the same thing into. Now, here's the thing. If someone mints an NFT in the metaverse, there should be a mint re reflected in reality safe moon nfts aim to do just this the turbines are only the start so that's the thing people are going to mint these nfts in the metaverse whatever the case may be so with each nft there be safe moon's goal is to mint something in real life to give value to that nft so i think that's absolutely amazing so here we go there will likely they will likely do a pre-sale of the first hundred anchored turbine nfts launch editions so we're gonna see the first hundred okay whatever that looks like we don't know what the price is gonna be we don't know what it's gonna cost to get one of these anchored turbine nfts and to be honest who knows who knows what that's gonna consist of is it gonna be you know we don't know we don't know how they're gonna go about that but whoever gets in on the pre-sale as soon as it does happen i could see it you know getting filled up within like seconds to be honest with how strong the safe moon army is i could see that being filled up fairly quickly so you kind of have to be on top of safe moon and being very consistent with educating yourself will it be one nft per turbine or portions etc was the question here they are looking at fractional ownership of the nft yeah, so I think that's very important because I think a lot of people who aren't able to afford, you know, whatever the, let's say the cost is 10000 okay, for the NFT, for instance. That's just a, that's not, that's speculation and simply just a round number and just throwing it out there, right? If people are able to buy fractions of that, I think that's very, very valuable. It's just like if you're in real estate, like I'm in real estate and I own a syndication firm and so we break down equity we do equity split shares so a certain amount will get you a certain amount of equity within that deal this is going to be very similar to how they break this down so a certain amount will get you this amount of ownership in the nft and based off of that amount this is the kind of return you should be expecting whether it be like a preferred return or based off of where that turbine is and how they're going to go about installing it so that's very important and I think that's absolutely amazing. So you could get like a group of your friends and family and essentially buy a whole NFT, but you all own fractions of it and you all benefit and get to be involved in the burn and in the reflections aspect of SafeMoon. So that is absolutely awesome. Another question was, can you sell and trade the NFT anchor to the turbine? Yes. So imagine that. Imagine the fact that you're going to be able to sell this way on down the road and it's going to be something that's going to have true value. You're going to be able to show how many reflections you've made based off of this one piece of ownership that you had in this NFT, which people love that. People will pay astronomical amounts of money for something that will bring them great returns. So you got to keep that in mind when you're looking at this. There's NFTs right now that really just give you a Discord chat, right? And it gives you access to certain people based off of the community on that NFT. But other than that, there's really no true value in the sense of the longevity of it. Whereas this, the longevity of this NFT is always going to be tied to a wind turbine. So just keep that in mind. And hopefully this will be coming out very soon. But with more news in, in, in regards to SafeMoon Connect, will my SafeMoon Connect tag be truly DeFi and anonymous? And SafeMoon Hound said, yes, data will be stored via IPFS linked to your wallet address. However, influencers, big brands, etc., who wish to have 
non-anonymous tags can get verified connect badges, which is great. I think whoever wants that and is wanting to be verified with SafeMoon Connect, you can do that as well. But I think SafeMoon Safe Connect is absolutely massive for the e-commerce aspect of SafeMoon and what's to come with that. And I think too many people go down the rabbit hole of SafeMoon Connect. I think ultimately what it's going to be, it's going to tie everything nicely together with the marketplace, with the ecosystem, with the exchange, uh, with how we use it for e-commerce. It's all going to tie it nicely. So SafeMoon Connect is definitely going to be a huge part of the ecosystem and definitely very excited. And there was something that Ryan did mention yesterday in the AMA, which is the SafeMoon Rewards. However, they tie that into SafeMoon Connect is going to be absolutely massive. So if you're not bullish yet on SafeMoon and what they're doing, you may want to look into it more. You want to do some more research. You want to go back and watch the Operation Phoenix video, and you want to watch yesterday's AMA. If you watch those two videos, I think that will more than convince you on what SafeMoon is trying to do. So with that, though, Make sure to come and uh, follow me here on Twitter uh, at SafeMoon Surge on Twitter. And if you have not yet, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Comment down below what you guys want me to continue to talk about. I'm going to continue to talk more about the AMA recap. There's so much more information in there. And so I'm going to make videos like this just where it's going to touch on a couple of the topics on the SafeMoon Sunday AMA. But with that being said, again, thank you so much. And I will talk to you all in the next one.